Hi lovelies! Soup season is finally upon us, and today I've teamed up with Frigidaire Gallery to share an incredible recipe that is sure to become a family favorite. It's my rich and hearty chicken pot pie soup. In addition to being totally delicious, this soup is also quick and easy to prepare, making it the perfect dish for busy weeknights. I like serving it with light and flaky pie crust crackers, which are totally irresistible. For this recipe, I'm getting started with a large soup pot or Dutch oven on the stove. To that, I'm adding some butter, because of course, butter makes everything better. We're gonna melt that butter over medium-high heat, and then I'm going to add some onion, some carrot, and some celery. I'm going to saute those until they're nice and soft, and then I'm going to add a few cloves of minced garlic. I'm going to cook that for another 30 seconds or so, and then it's time to add some flour. Now it's important to add your flour before the rest of your liquids because you really wanna cook off that raw flour taste, which only takes 30 seconds or so. Next, we're going to add our cooked shredded chicken, some finely diced potato, some chicken broth, some milk, and a sprig of fresh thyme. Trust me, this makes a huge difference in the flavor of your final soup. You can give all of that yumminess a stir, and then we're going to bring this mixture to a nice simmer, but not a boil because we don't wanna scald the milk. Once it's reached a simmer, you can reduce your heat to medium-low and let it simmer away for about 15 minutes or so, or until it's nice and thick and those potatoes are cooked through. In the meantime, we are going to get started on our delicious pie crust crackers. Now, I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Quick preheat is a total lifesaver in my kitchen because it saves a ton of time. While that oven is preheating, I'm going to get started on creating my pie crust crackers. For this recipe, I'm actually using some store-bought pie crust. You could go ahead and make your own dough if you wanted to, but I find the store-bought kind saves a whole lot of time in the kitchen, and that is what I am all about. So I'm just going to roll out my dough on a cutting board and then use some cookie cutters to create my cracker shapes. I'm going to transfer my shapes onto a parchment-lined baking sheet and then brush them with a little egg wash. And to make them extra special, I'm also going to add a little sprinkle of onion powder, dried thyme, and some freshly cracked black pepper. How incredible does that sound? Into the oven these go for eight to 10 minutes or until they're nice and golden and crisp. While those beauties are baking away, we're going to finish our soup. First, I'm going to remove the stem of my thyme. And then I'm going to finish this off with some frozen peas and corn and a good helping of salt and pepper. We're gonna let this simmer for another two or three minutes until the peas and corn are heated through and this beautiful soup is ready to serve with those incredibly decadent crackers. It's the perfect dish for a nice cool evening. I really hope you'll give this delicious recipe a try and if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me or Snapchat me a photo because you know I love seeing your creations. Keep in mind that the full recipe is in the description box below so you can take a look for it there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.